How's it going, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here with another, I guess, episode for Real Adventures, right? My goal is to try and make, I don't know, one or two videos a week. We'll see. Um, I had some people ask me recently how I serviced the Shimano reels, the Tiagras. Um, and I kind of tried to explain it to them. I made a video before for Facebook, but people want to see more in depth on how to do it, I guess. There's a couple of videos that's on YouTube, but nothing really in there you know what i mean they don't try to show you in depth they want to try make that money so they want to show you i guess so my friend chris just picked up this this 80 off craigslist he got a good price on it but i told him you know you should service it since you got it you don't know if the guy serviced it from taking off a couple of the screws just trying to see if they're loose it seems like it's been serviced uh it nothing's tight locked in which is nice so this video is going to be about how to i guess service uh Tiagra. It'll be a long, I'm gonna have to break it up into a few parts because it's not one of those things you can do in five minutes. So uh, sit back, enjoy, and we're gonna service this 80. Okay, a couple things I recommend for servicing the reel that you're gonna need that's gonna come in handy. It's a specific size of Phillips. This one says P2, I don't know if that's it, but I know it fits in there perfectly. And that's more for the side plates. Um, the chrome plates anyway, not side plates. You're gonna need a uh, a Torx T15 screwdriver. I don't know if you That's a, the star screwdriver. So you're gonna need one of these star screwdrivers. Um, and that's for that's for the side plates. That's pretty much it for tool wise. I don't think there's anything else. Maybe like a something you could use probably would be like a maybe like a dental pick. You might need one of those. I forget. Uh, WD-40. WD-40 is not for greasing your reels. WD-40 is a solvent for baking up grease. So I use it to clean stuff off, like screws and stuff, before I re-grease and put them in. So WD-40, uh, waterproof grease, corrosion block. This is super, super good grease. I love this grease. This is like the best grease for servicing reels, I believe. And uh, Shimano Star Drag grease. Let's see, right there. Most tackle shops you can get this stuff. You can even get it on Amazon or eBay or whatever. And that is pretty much. I also put a couple cups, regular cups, small cups. I'll use this for is for WD-40 for soaking the smoke, soaking the parts, or um, you know just putting the parts here so you keep track of them because there's a lot of screws and shit. Uh, that's it. Let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna get my cup. I'm gonna put my outside screws in there. I wanna put a little WD-40 in there. Still WD-40. Like I said, WD-40 is a solvent to break up oils and stuff like that. WD-40 is not a uh, WD-40 is not a, a grease or whatever. So we're gonna take off all these T screws. What I would suggest is you know if it's a screw, if it's a, if it's a reel that hasn't been searched for a while. I would put some kind of um, like WD-40 in each screw and let it sit by overnight, maybe a day or two, because these screws right here, where this part comes in, have a tendency to corrode and snap. If your screw snaps, you have to buy a new frame. It's not cheap, it's like 70. I also put a couple of links in the description, one for a schematic breakdown and one for a place where you can get Shimano parts at a great price. I'll also put a couple links for the supplies I use on Amazon so you can order them yourself. There we go. Lift off. This reel is dirtier than shit. Okay, that's how it looks. This show is pretty dirty as you can see. Um, we're gonna get it all cleaned up though, okay? Uh, put this on the side for now. We're not gonna need that part for a while. So we got it like this now, okay? That's good, but we have to clean more. That's we have to clean more than that. Just gonna push up the roof from inside. Push up, pull it out. Uh, your drags are right in here. They're sealed in here. Oh, that's another thing we need. A small Phillips. So we'll get to that next. I like to kind of do like one thing at a time. So this is just a mess now. You see in there? Which is all grease. 
Uh, another tool I left out was this Stanley screw set. I'll put a link in the bio if you guys want. But you need a small Phillips in there. To me, these screws are awesome. But this one's definitely stuck in there. There we go. All right, watch this bearing. Let's see how, let's see how smooth this bearing is. Uh, it doesn't keep spinning. It's pretty shit. I'm gonna put that in here with this because I want to get it cleaned up. Like I said, WD-40. So in there's all dirty. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna crank that zoom in. It's just all greasy up, you know what I mean? Nothing crazy. If you had a toothbrush, you could do it. Clean it up real good. Um, here, check these. The springs are good. If this was sticky, I'd say shoot it really good. It's pretty greasy. I'm just gonna spray some D40 in there. I don't wanna get any ore spray over it on my camera stuff. WD-40, definitely made it looser. There's a lot of old grease in there. As you can see now, not as bad as it was. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off this side plate now. And the reason I'm gonna take off this side plate is I want to increase all these screws. The only thing that I would recommend doing you go to your post office, grab some priority boxes, cut them open, they work super well. So that way you don't get, that way you don't get um, oil and grease like freaking everywhere. So this is done. This is completely done. This is completely done. We can slap this guy back together now. I'm just get my screws out. Try all the WD-40 out there. Yeah, that See how much it spins not compared to earlier? Before it didn't spin, listen. Spin, all right? Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. A lot better than it was. But here we go. I really like this corrosion block real fast, uh, real oil. This stuff is good stuff. For a couple drops. Normally I'll put it when it's in the reel because I'm gonna get my hands on greasy. But because I know you guys wanna see. Get some more in there. Get out my bearings. Better. Put it back in there. Okay, I'll put these screws back in, but before I stick those screws back in there, before I do that, let's get the grease open, corrosion block grease, good stuff, okay? This is what I like to do, take the screw and dip each screw, just the tip. Just a tip, okay? Put in there. We're not gonna overly tighten these now. This is just hand tight. We're not shrinking this, this down. And just hand tight, go around. Tighten it 
hitting all of them. And then just another one. And that's it. Well, on these right here. Drop some oil on those. That side of the reel is done. Believe it or not. Put this on the side until later. Now this is the main guts of the operation. Honestly, this is probably a lot more in-depth of a clean than what you normally need to do on these. But this feels kind of dirty. Dirty in the sense of old grease, not dirty in the sense of like corrosion. This is where your brakes are. I was steering you wrong this whole time. It's number one, not number zero. This thing is really hard to pry open. Normally it's not this hard at all. Normally these brakes just pop open, but this one was a bitch to get open. Normally it's fairly easy. So this is your brakes. Right there's your brakes. So with the 130s, there's two sides. I guess with the 80s, there's only one side. But the 130s, I believe, have one more on this side. That should break right there. Uh, not much doing to get this clean. So what you can do if you really want to, I've done it before in the past, is take this out in here. There's another bearing in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to oil that bearing, though. You can take this whole thing out. You push this pin down right here. You see right there is a spring right there. It has a spring right here. Push this down, this pin comes out, and that whole thing slides out. You know what? I'll just do it, I'll show you guys. Oh. Push that pick out. Come on. That little pin, hold that spring right there. Pull that spring out, so that pin holds that spin right above, okay? And now this can push right out. When it pulls out, it pulls out from this side. And there you have it. Please, 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 when you take this off, be very careful. Because this whole thing can come apart and it will just fall apart on you. And then you have to look at the schematic, how to put it back, if you don't know what you're doing. But I'm going to shoot this whole thing with WD-40, use a toothbrush, and clean it all off. See how gunky it is? So I'll be right back. Come here back. Look how clean it is. Looks brand new. Do a bit of WD-40 and window. Now these bearings are pretty nasty. I don't know if you can see it right there. I'm gonna pop those bearings out. I definitely wanna grease those bearings. One side. This one's really nasty. Uh, this bearing here, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot some WD-40 cleaning up also. Put it back in there. I'm gonna put a couple drops. Side. 
pretty sure though, when we put it back on our side, this bearing is gonna fall out. There it is. So put that back in there. And now I have to clean this one. This one is really nasty with grease. It doesn't even spin, look at that shit. Don't even spin at all. So we'll put that back in there. This bearing was super bad. Like super bad. Like this bearing wasn't even spinning before. Unreal. It's one of the worst bearings I ever came across. It like literally wouldn't even spin. And it felt like it felt like the bearing was busted inside is what it felt like. Like I say, you a lot of people tell service and reels, you know what I mean? Yeah, service reels right. It's not super simple or very clean. If you it the right way, you know what I mean? There's definitely a right way and there's definitely a wrong way. Well, there's a right way, there's a wrong way. There's definitely the best way. I think I do it the best way, you know what I mean? I take my time to clean it all up. You get all that grease out there. Okay, that's gonna spin. A couple drops of oil on here, and we will be good to go. Put this brain back. Well, this pin goes back on here, right? Like this. And now, the fun part. This is always the fun part because I don't have little hands, but I don't have big hands either. But I don't know if you can see that. There's a little pin hole right. See that little hole right there? This pin has to go in that hole. Go. Success. Got in. See how it looks right there? A little pin in the hole. Hold the spring in. Oh my god, look at this. Watch this. Oh, beautiful. That's what you want. So, this is what your brake slides on right here. This is your brake. Get this brake all cleaned up. Try to wipe it down. You do not repeat. Do not spray WD-40 on this thing. Just wipe it down. Even here, wipe it down. You want no WD-40 in here at all. Okay. Uh, very important. This is how someone explained it to me, and this is how I explain to you. Dry grease, okay? All other grease. You want to put as much as you can. Like, yeah, go go all out, go balls out on it, okay? Drag grease, you do not want to go overboard, okay? Put a little bit on my finger, okay? And this is the way it was explained to me. You put the drag grease on, okay? Not, don't go too crazy with it. Put drag grease on. color I'm putting it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay. Even cold. You don't want a whole shitload now, okay? That's it. Oh. 
I got a paper towel now. Wipe off the excess on the inside. I want to check out some of that drag grease on the inside part. And that's it, okay? I got a nice coat on there. I wiped off the excess that was inside the ring, but that's it, <laughs> okay? I'm not gonna say it again. This goes in there. You saw it slotted on there. It lines up with that right there, okay? She was pretty ingenious how they do this thing. And that's it, okay? With the pressure going down from when you tighten it down with a fish or whatever, right? That's when it starts to increase in drag, drag starts to increase in drag pressure, and that's how the drag is made on the reel. That small little ring in there. I want to grease that ring right there because that ring looks super dry. But for these, I'm not gonna dip on grease because they're kind of small. I have a small stick. Thirty, forty-five minutes. I mean, maybe an hour, hour fifteen for the first time. But just take your time with it. Don't, don't rush it. I mean, I'm talking about thousand-dollar reels here. You don't want to rush it and screw something and strip something. Okay. Now I don't know if you remember. So I'm gonna wipe off all this stuff right here. All this excess grease. I don't know if you remember that I showed you guys how smooth this reel was beforehand. It barely spin. Watch this now. One spin. You're hitting a brake spin in there. But. Watch this. Pretty damn smooth. So we're done with that part for now. We'll put that on the side. This part goes on top of here, like so, and spins, okay? I'm gonna put some grease on there. Yeah, I like grease. Grease is awesome for your reels and stops stuff from corroding. There we go. I'm gonna drop this back in here. This is the fun part. This is the brains of the operation. If the other part of the reel is the muscle, this is the brains. This has some grease on it, so I just sprayed some WD-40 on it to get all that grease off so I can get this thing cleaned. So, my friend told me he bought a new handle. This handle is bust, as you can see. Shimano, you need to make better handles. These handles suck. I feel like they're all gummy and just crappy. So my friend went to a local fishing store over here, Roy's Fishing Supply in Hawaii. One of my favorite fishing stores. Uh, it's in Pro City, Hawaii, on Oahu. So he went over there. Good guys, they'll take care of you. He went over there and he bought a new handle, he said. So I'm taking his handle off. Take this handle off, there's two Phillips screws, one there, one there. This is your two speed, right? Take that off. Now, taking this off, you have to be careful. There's a freaking, uh, there's a spring in here. You have to be very, very, very careful. Okay, that part's off, okay? We have to save this. It's only about a handle, so it goes in there. This is what you have to watch out for. That little spring right there. That's to click your stuff out of uh, two speed. So next we have this screw right here, little Phillips again. We're gonna use the number one again. Oh, that was a little tight. It came off, but it was a little tight. Take that off. Put it back in here too. And now we're gonna lift this up. I have to watch out because that spring wants to go boing on you. And I just dropped the spring. There it is. That spring goes on here like so. And 
and you just push it against a stopper. You just push it against a stopper, and that's how it works. And go in there. And then this pulls out. I'm not gonna dig through my half stick. I'm not gonna dig through my stuff to get it. We'll just loosen that up. And this comes right out. See it? This thing should be greased and cleaned. Uh, I guess this will be a full breakdown. I'm gonna take this show apart all the way. Take this out. Uh, Cause that bearing looks like shit. It is dirtier than crap. I don't know if you can see that. So I guess this is a full breakdown. Okay, I have to get this off first. This part gotta come off. Oh, there we go. Damn. I should never ever be that tight. I'm gonna have to clean that up too. It should never ever be that tight, tell you that much. So now it's out, your gear should be able to fall right out. I'm gonna tap this, whoot, and your gear falls out. Be very, very, very careful taking your gear out. I suggest you hold it, because there's lots of spacers and other shit in here. Um, they, if you ever screw anything up and you take something apart and it doesn't go back and you're like, oh, I screwed that up, right? No, you didn't screw it up. There's lots of schematics online. Uh, I can link it. I'll, I'll put the link in there for you. There's lots of schematics online showing you how certain parts go. You know what I mean? Now, if you really want to, I probably open his up because his isn't smooth at all. It's super stiff and sticky. So after I get this cleaned up, I'm gonna open up the other part, which is awesome. Let's spray some WD-40 here. Check clean up all this gunk. Can you see how dirty it is? Okay. Now the part I didn't want to take out, but I'm going to take out. And this is one of the ones that these screws like to snap. Okay. I'm gonna check it. If they're loose, I'm gonna take them off. If they're not loose, I'm not gonna take them off. It's loose. Okay, it's loose. These screws love the snap. Okay, and like I said, if they're loose, take them out. If they're not loose, do not touch them. I repeat, do not touch them. Because I guarantee you, 110% of the time, you will snap them. And I will show you why. It's the most stupidest design ever by Shimano. And I don't understand why you do this. They make great reels, but why would you do this? I don't know if they do it on purpose to try to get the, the reel of a time of serviceability or what. But to me, this is the stupidest thing ever. Now you have to be careful taking this off because there's a couple, couple plastic washers on here. Two washers. I know some of you guys are watching, it's like, man... So when you do these washers, clear goes on top, okay? If you get mixed up, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but clear goes on top. I wanna clean that up and grease in there because he wasn't riding smooth like how you should. I'm gonna check it, like I said again, if it's not loose, I'm not taking it off. Okay, it's loose. Now this plate comes off. Yeah, be careful with this plate because of this right here, this drag. I'm gonna drag with a clicker. Uh, these in here, if these are sticky, not smooth, I will take them on and clean up those springs and grease them, but they look pretty damn smooth. This, I do not want to take this out. This can be taken out. I don't want to take it out. I'm just going to clean it up and put it back. I'll tell you why. This has got to be the most bitchiest thing ever to put back. The, the um, clicker. And there we go. This is ready to go back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some grease right there on those springs right there. Now the easy way to remember which side goes down. One side is beveled in for your screws, one side is flat. This side right here is where your clicker is. My clicker's back right now. Right back. 
there we go. Bingo, bango. So let me show you a little slit I talked about. Let me see right there. There's a little slit. See it? Right there. That's the most stupidest thing ever. That little slit will break that screw every day right there if it's not greased up. <coughs> Some grease, put in a hole. Every single one. Some grease, put in a hole. That is it. Now I'll see before going further. Check your clicker, make sure it still goes freely, okay? Um, check your buttons, your strike and your free spool buttons. Check your clicker. If something's not going right, take it back apart. Don't put the whole thing back together and be like, oh, it's not working right. Cause you're gonna have to get all the way back apart again after you did everything to it. Now, if you really wanted to get into it, this part right here, this part right here is a plastic piece connected to an aluminum body, okay? If you want to take all that stuff apart, take off these two Phillips, that part comes apart and you can really break it down even more than what I did. But, ah, uh, there's no reason to. It's good, it's clean, it's serviceable. So, uh, this is your uh, clicker. If this thing wasn't moving, if this thing wasn't moving freely, I would suggest you take that out, you know what I mean? We're gonna have to clean all these gears too. Yeah, I'll give you a before and after. See how gunky it is. And we are golden. Okay, so that is it for that part. We'll put this on the side. We saw clearance from earlier. Nice and clean, all shiny, very good. Now, if you look inside there, Oh, you see, see this little Phillips right there? If you look right inside there, a little prong in there, okay? If this thing isn't moving, which it does freely, I must still put a little drop of grease on there. But if it's not moving freely like I should, that could be one of your issues too. And that's the part that catches all the grooves on your plate. So I'm gonna put a little drop of geese right in there. It's kind of torn up. I do not have any spares though. I guess normally I would probably replace that ring, but I don't have any spares. I normally have spare parts, but I do not have that. Okay. Put this right in there. like that like I said before some grease in each hole and that's it you don't go any tighter than that just gotta get cleaned up everything is nice and smooth ready to go Actually spins again now. It wasn't spinning earlier, it's spinning now. Uh, put that back in there. Put a couple drops of oil on it. Put like three drops maybe. And just spin it. Good. Golden. Pull right here. This goes in here like so we're gonna put grease all over this I'm gonna cover this thing in grease these gears my camera's about to die and I want to get it done before my camera dies so it has to be pretty just get grease on your gears because when you get that big marlin or that trophy eye on there that trophy marlin on there Make sure you got grease. Doesn't have to be pretty. I mean, it's gonna get around with this other gear, it's gonna get all around in there. Just as long as we have some on there. Trust me, it'll get all around in there. Good. Let's put it over here. 
here. And this over here. I'll put a little grease on this right here. Move that in. I'm gonna pack that guy with some grease in there. I'm gonna leave it in, okay? Another tip. Here's another nice tip. This part, screwed in, okay? That'll let you hold these gears in, okay? What you have to try to line up is this part right here lines up with that bearing hole right there, okay? So I can't really get a good camera angle to show you guys, but. So, the drill is done. Let's go wipe it up, put the handle back on. Like I said, my friend bought a brand new handle, so I'm not gonna stick this back on. I'm not gonna bore you with another video, I'm sticking a handle on. It's gonna go on the same way you took it off, you know what I mean? This pin comes out. This goes on here like so. This goes on here. Handle goes back on. You wanna put grease all in here, in that shaft. Stuff grease in there. Put a little grease on here. After you put your handle on, you reattach this. Okay? You put your three screws, you put your handle back on. I guess I'm not gonna show you guys that. I mean, I know you guys watch the ray. Just put it on the same way you took it off. It's not hard. The handle probably one of the easier ones. And that is it. This show is done, everyone. Now let's see how smooth this is, okay? It's smooth now. This wasn't too smooth before. Smooth now, okay. My clicker smooth. Now let's see how smooth that really is. And that's pretty smooth. It was never that smooth before. Um, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe and share this video. You know what I mean? It might help your other friends. So share this video, and we're bringing new content at least one to two videos a week. Thanks for as always. Aloha. Safe. How do we close out these videos? I forgot. It's been a while tight lines and safe fishing. Aloha guys.